Show with Jay Leno. I'm your host. I welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gunner. I see you out there. Okay, very cool. Well, tonight we're going to be discussing the great thinker Paul Ramsey, and I think that we should go out and do some jaywalking. Don't you guys? Think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. influenced by Nibbur. Uh, his, this was a professor at Yale and he gave him um, his understanding of uh, Christian ethics and how we should have a disinterested love. Like that's pacifism. And oh, it was just, oh, he, like, he loved these guys. Okay, so let's go outside and we're gonna find some jaywalking people. Okay, <gasps> I think I see some over there. Oh, there they are. Yeah, smoking a doobie or something. I think that they might know. Have you ever heard of um, Paul Ramsey? The Ram. Ram, the Ram. Yeah. Dude, he was in nine with, with us, us, man. Yeah. Yeah. We had uh, we had some fun with him. Yeah, yeah. Stinking mm. pacifist, though. He's yeah, he's a pack. pacifist. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Nothing to do with him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now for some more jaywalking. Let's find some people. Okay. Where could some people be? Oh, oh, look. I think that's a hobo. Hobo, wake up. Hey, what is this? Have you ever heard of, um, uh... Have you seen my glove? Uh, I have one glove. No. Have you seen my glove? Uh, have you heard of Paul Ramsey? Uh, Before? Uh, Paul Ramsey? Oh, uh, Ramesses. No. No, Ramsey. 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 No, no. Cold. Oh. Hey, look. Okay, now to find some more um, jaywalkers. Let's see. No one over there. No one in town. Um, hmm. Oh, look at this find. Okay, hey. Hello? Anybody home? Hey. Hey, I'm Jay Leno. <laughs> That's me. Have you ever heard of me? Yeah, Jay Leno. Smoking too many doobies, man. But I have a question for you. You ready? Yeah. Well, have you ever heard of this great thinker called Paul Ramsey? Ever? Paul Ramsey? Paul. Paulie, come on. Is he a football player? Sure. Okay, that was a great show. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I did. Fantastic. Host. Fantastic. Oh yes. Yeah, thanks. I love it. Oh, these cookies are so good. Amazing. Oh. Mm. Who must have made these? Mm. Now about Paul Ramsey. Yeah, let us go. We're going to get back to more intellectual sense. Indeed. Yes. And not like those bobos out there. No. No. Smoking the doobies. Smoking the doobies. Don't smoke. Don't no. smoke. Not good for you. Now Paul Ramsey was one of the greatest Christian ethicists. The 20th century. Yes, yes, he was a very good. Uh, oh, I have my notes right here. I'll discuss you his ethics. Uh, he was a deontological thinker. He went from focusing, he focused more on the action, more on loving and doing good to your neighbor instead of uh, the goal. Or he focused more on the action, not the goal, not the teleology. Uh, for Ramsey, Christian neighbor love, as he called it defines what is right, that is what is ethical, ethically right. Uh, this means he didn't try to dissuade people like the hedonist, he tried to take their their love of themselves and apply it to other people, try to get them to love other people. Love your neighbor. Yes, yeah, it was, it was great. <clears throat> so the essential task of humanity, according to Ramsey, was to love our neighbors through humility and faith, through, the, through Christianity. Yes. Now Paul thought that 
humans were totally deprived if they did not have the love, lo as in love your neighbor. He he greatly emphasized his points. He thought that if you did not have, not have your ethics based around this love, that you were ethically wrong. No. I was reading this book about that Paul Ramsey wrote, Basic Christian Ethics. Oh, I've got to read that book still. Wow. Indeed, it is a fine piece of intellectual literature. Huh. There was this one section about the image of God, and he talks about how the image of God is created in us by God when we were born. And it is not so much something with reason, but it's something that emotions that have less passionate aspects of our life in it. It is very compelling and interesting, yes. Okay, so tonight, to wrap up this great show that we've been having, we got this funny looking email from a guy named uh, Joseph from um, Hilgenkamp. Hilgenkamp. Joseph Joe. Joey. You out there tonight? Okay, so. Well, he just sent us some views that he thought that Paul Ramsey thought, and he's an ethic teacher, so he has to know quite about Paul Ramsey since he's an ethicist. So he thought that Paul Ramsey thought that um, grace is defined by, not by how God, like, judges us or confirms us by how he views us on our self-definition. And another thought that he had is that um, on the whole thought of um, transcendence and um, Im imminence, um, sorry, screwed up on that word there, whoopsies, okay. So um, he believes that God is transcendent and this means that um, God is above the limits and he has no limits at all. Instead of imminence, which means having be like confined to different boundaries or like I don't know what Joe's trying to say here, but he sounds pretty smart. And so Well that was a weird email. But anyway, that's the end of our show. Well thank you, Abad and Tom. That was a great show. Gone, but we'll be back later for another project.